here's the front of our uh, all terrain and you might notice that it's missing some things for a start it's missing the stone guard and I've also taken off the jerry can holders and I've done that to reduce the weight on the front and I also don't believe that those stone guards do much um, there is a better alternative and a much better alternative is the stone stomper so I've ordered a stone stopper for delivery they tell me in uh, early February so uh, looking forward to that well look what arrived in the mail today my stone stomper I ordered it just before Christmas and they said uh, acknowledged the order and said it'd be delivered sometime in February well we're just past halfway through January and it's arrived and they've given it everything you need we've got um, this is the goes under the tow ball well under the DRA 35 and these are the flaps that go under the car and you hook the stone stopper into there and this is the mesh all rolled up nicely and here's the uh, the most important bit which gets screwed onto the caravan so I'll show you how to install it. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is install this onto the caravan. Now these are the brackets that go either side. Uh, they give you um, a bracket, they give you the screws, and they also give you the, the bit to drive the hex head self-drilling screws into the caravan. So we've got the bar, the bit that goes into our drill, to roll and one two three four five six so we've got three screws each side what I'm going to do is uh, try and clamp these into their positions so when I um, when we measured the stone stomper I measured it so that it would come out here a little bit to protect a bit of the side so we'll see how that goes one on each side and then I'll hang the uh, stone stopper so obviously the branding goes up face up and this is the shackle that hooks onto there and then unroll it oh it has a strap in the middle didn't know about that. Probably because the uh, my last caravan was a cross track, so it's a bit skinnier than the uh, ultra. Okay, now we go across the other side and uh, do the same. So that's how it'll go and it'll just hook up to the car when we hook, hook that up and um, I'm quite happy with that. I don't think it needs any adjustment so I'll just uh, screw those um, pieces where they are. Okay I've just realized my brackets are facing the wrong way. That bendy bit is supposed to go towards the back. So Of course, that doesn't change the uh, position for the tension. Just turns it around the other way. Hold it with a clamp and screw the tech screws in. They say that it only needs two if you're particular. Yeah, could but I can just sneak a third one in. Yeah, I think. Just 
There we go. Solid as a rock. And then we reattach the D shackle. tight across there. They say to do this up with a spanner so that it doesn't come undone and to wire it back but um, I've done 20,000 kilometers in the previous one just did it up with a spanner and it never come undone. Just every now and then I just check them as you went past but they're fine. And now we just do the other side. So we've now got the stone stopper attached to both sides. And they're all screwed in. Now, because this one is a lot wider than I uh, was used to, it has an extra support in the middle. Here, so this comes with the, uh, the kit, but there's nothing here to attach it to. So I'm going to have to put in uh, this little thing that I found in my toolkit, it's a uh, brass saddle and I'll just tech screw it in here and then I can hook that through there and uh, be able to hold that up. So there is, I tech screwed that saddle and I can just clip that clamp straight onto it. Okay that's the, uh, that's all you have to do on the caravan and now you just got to take the, uh, take your DR DO35 off or tow hitch or whatever you're using. And we'll just snug that up for a moment. Now this um, bar really needs to be as high as you need it um, so that the higher it is the better coverage of the rocks from your tyres is. So that's pretty high, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay these are 13mm bolts so I'll put a spanner on the inside and a socket on the outside and then we uh, tighten them up making sure the bars are level and straight. The other one. There we go. Okay, they're done up tight. And uh, I also bought the optional sleeves, which means you, when not towing a caravan, you can roll this up. Otherwise, they just flap in the wind. Put the sleeve on. stops it from flapping in the wind. So you don't have to take your bar off and on all the time. Just leave it on. And you just velcro it on. It stays there. Okay, so the car's hooked up to the caravan as normal. Your chains and your, and your whatever. And the only thing you have to do extra piece of cord which goes over the bar from one side to the other and then you just slide off your covers if you've got covers and pull all your flaps one hook Two hook and three hook, and you just have to do that each side. One, two, and three. have it all hooked up and if you can see it really protects 
the whole front of the caravan. There's no way any rocks or anything going to get to the gas bottles, to the to the bin or the van itself. Much better. It protects all this stuff in here. Um, brakes, ESC, your breakaway, your electrics. There we go. Well recommended. So when I'm unhitched with the stone stomper on, I just lift up the sides and hook it into the second and it holds it up out of the way. And if you come back and have a look, it's um, pretty well level all the way. So it's a good, good fit. And there's no way rocks are going to get up to your caravan and it also keeps the dirt down. <laughs>